So recently you might have seen that I've been using a machine template with Bitwig and this is thanks to Mike at TOT Graphics. So I'm just going to show you here that he's got a website. I'll put the link in the information below and there is a current update up on GitHub here and I'm going to show you how you can actually work with this. So I'm going to click on download. It's going to bring down a zip file. I'm going to show you here that we've got the file. I'm going to double click on it so you can see what's inside. So basically we've got some controller files here that need to be placed in a specific location for Bitwig to pick them up. So I'm going to drag this onto documents, then go over to Bitwig Studio, inside controller scripts and drop it in. So that's the first step. The other thing you need to do is to load this into the controller editor. So I'm going to fire this up and we've got this existing Ableton Live template, which is very good. It's been created by Native Instruments, but I'm running with Bitwig here. Come down to edit, go to open, and you need to locate the file inside that folder that you just dragged into documents. And you can see here, I've got the right folder selected. So just going to come back up to the root here. So imagine that you're at this location, just click on the Bitwig master folder, click on controller editor, and then find the file that's relevant to your hardware. So I've got the Mark II here, I'm going to double click. And you can see um, on the actual hardware that everything looks a bit different here. The other thing that I'm going to do is tick on host transport control so that I can use the play buttons um, and record buttons to actually work with the transport. So we're done there. What I'm going to do now is going to fire up Bitwig Studio. And one thing to note about Bitwig, you must be running the latest release candidate 1.1. That was released very, very recently. So make sure you download that. Now, the other thing we need to do inside Bitwig is to come to options, come down to preferences and then go to controllers. So I'm going to detect available controllers. You can see that it's picked up machine. Everything's come alive over here. And so what we have now is the ability to remote control Bitwig and do a whole load of things to really enhance your workflow. Yeah.